In other news, membership portfolio chief Gus Anahoe Sky Deer took a few minutes out of her busy schedule to talk with KTV. We now return to the illustrious Joe Delarone to get a quick update on the membership portfolio. All right, uh, let's let's talk uh, membership. Seems like things are a little quiet, uh, are they? No, actually, uh, although there have been vacations and it is summer, uh, there have been a lot of activities going on behind the scenes. As a matter of fact, uh, we met with council, chief and council yesterday to discuss uh, next steps regarding the uh, letters of non-entitlement. Um, as the community is aware, we did send out approximately 20 letters uh, in June that were delivered by bailiff to persons uh, not entitled to reside on the reserve. And we did hear back from about six to eight people uh, that provided proof of outside residency, but there is a number of outstanding persons who didn't even have the respect to contact us and say, uh, I'm making um, arrangements to move or, you know, I have residency outside. So, you know, we are looking at the next steps with regard to that. Um, we also have a plan. <laughs> You know, there's going to be some, some steps and actions, maybe even uh, informing the local resident about potential um, ramifications of not rectifying this matter. Um, residency, there's definitely a need to have a distinction between membership and residency. I think the, the issues are getting muddled. There, uh, there's a lot of people in the community who think that because they're half or less than half that they're not entitled to reside here and that they're worried about being evicted and stuff of that nature. So I think there's a necessity for continued education on this matter. Uh, we talked about having a, um, a continued uh, communication strategy like keeping it in the media keeping it on the local TV continuing to talk about it uh, on the radio so forth so that people have a better understanding of w where this is coming from and why you know the whole racism uh, debate and how outside people perceive us and and that's a big issue is that people just don't understand you know what it means to be Ganyagahaga what it means to be Ganawagaharonu and there's a certain uh, you know, we're all a big family here and we talk about clan system and we talk about when people come into the community who have a different mindset and maybe a different background and then they come into the community and they feel like, well, how come, you know, I'm a Canadian and I'm this and I'm that and these certain rules and things should prevail in the community and we say, hey, you have to recognize what it means to be in sovereign Ganyagahaga territory and that we have certain uh, you know, rights and obligations uh, to ensure our continued existence as Ganyagahaga people.